Hey, welcome back. This is another freeze video. And in this video, I'm going to get into the model. If you haven't checked out the previous freeze videos or you don't know what I'm talking about, then this is going to make no sense at all. So I would suggest you look at the earlier freeze videos to see what we're talking about here. Uh, I'm going to freeload off of the example controller that we created in the previous video about routes and controllers. So this is packagecontroller.example. To start with, we're going to read a single record. Okay, I happen to know that there is a record with the ID of 1 in our database. So I'm just going to hard code 1 in there. Now, grabbing one record when you know the primary key is really easy. All we do is say this freezer get and then as a string we say what's the object class that we're getting we're gonna get a package and then we just say what's the primary key ID and that will return a package object and we can verify that we got something by saying uh, echo package and this the package table has a column called description so we're going to say package dot description equals now let's take a look at the page refresh package description equals office supplies so record number one the description was office supplies so it's just as simple as that. Okay, so let's, let's combine that. If you remember example two, example two has a URL parameter called example number. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna freeload on that. And the ID, we're gonna grab it as a URL parameter. Now, if you remember, we created the route example where we can pass in a second parameter, which is a number. So I can say one, two, materials, three, widgets. So we've just been grabbing uh, package number one, package number two, package number three. It's really just as simple as that. Um, now let's say we want to actually update some data. Well, updating data is actually also very easy to do. You just say package description equals updated description okay so what we're going to do is grab the package grab the ID from the URL grab the package change the description of the package and then now we want to save that back to the database all we do is we just call save it's as simple as that now when we print this out, package.description, uh, you know, we changed it right here. So it's not really obvious that this was, you know, went to the database. So I'm going to refresh it once. We're dealing with uh, the object with the ID of three right now. Updated description. We'd expect to see that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to comment out these lines. And when I refresh the page again, we're going to load it from the database so you know uh, we'll see whether or not that was saved to the database. Yep, and there it is. Now, let's get into querying the database. We're going to go back to using our example controller for that. The first query that I'm going to do is I'm not going to have, I'm just going to grab every record out of the database. Wouldn't do this very often. I'm going to say packages equals this freezer. Now, instead of get, I'm going to say query first parameter is the same it's the object class package for each packages as package echo package description and then we'll put a, uh, a line break we refresh the page we get every package record in our database. There they all are. We'd want a way to filter these. Now this is where we get into uh, the second parameter that I told you about called the criteria. 
the criteria object is located inside the libs folder, inside the libs folder, model, we'll see we have package and we also have an object called package criteria. That's the object that we're going to use to filter the results. So first I'm going to require this file. Require once model slash package criteria PHP. I'm going to create a new instance of that. Let's say criteria equals new package criteria. And now I'm going to specify some criteria. I'm going to say, wait, I spelled that wrong, didn't I? Criteria. And we'll notice we have a lot of properties here. And these all reflect the properties inside our database. So we say custom ID begins with. Um, all of the basic stuff has already been done, but you can add your own um, properties as well. What I'm going to look for is I'm going to look for everything where the ID less than or equal to five. And now I pass this criteria object in as the second parameter. So what's going to happen is freeze is going to run this query the same way it did before, but this time it's going to have some criteria that we've supplied and we've told it we only want ID less than or equal to five. So I'm going to refresh the page and we've only got uh, one, two, three, four, five records. Now, I can continue to add even more criteria. So let's see. Let's say where description is like, and we'll say that it is like, now we should only get one result back. There we go. Updated description, we've just filtered it out. The way we do an OR query is that you can build, you build two criteria objects. So I'm going to go ahead and print out the ID so we can actually see what we're doing here. Now let's say I wanted to get everything that was equal, less than or equal to 5 or the ID was greater than 20. What I need to do there is I need to say criteria 2 equals new package criteria. Criteria 2 ID is greater than or equal to 20. Now, to create an OR statement between these two, I will say criteria, take the first criteria, and I'll say add OR, and I add the second criteria, criteria two. So we're basically saying anything from criteria or anything from criteria two. If we refresh that, there we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, and then we've got starting with 20 all the way up. Okay, so another typical thing that you'd want to do is sort stuff. The way we do that is we go to our criteria object, and we say set order, and we give it the property name, description. We can sort by more than one field in a row, so we can say criteria set order and it processes them in the order that you add them. So what this is going to do is it's going to order by description first and then by ID in reverse order. That's what we should see. And there we go. So office supplies are all first and it's going in descending order, 45, 44, 43. Uh, and then we've got updated and updated description next. That is how you do sorting. What's the return from this query object? You might think this is just a simple array, but it's actually not. What's returned is a freeze dataset object. And a dataset object works like an array if you want it to. However, it has some other uh, properties which are not part of an irregular array. For instance, we can say, Packages count. And we can get the count. Two results. If I remove this, we should get a lot more. So we'll see some see some more results. 26 records. 
Now this data set also has methods which allow us to do pagination. So let's just say I only want to grab one through five. So what I can do is I can get a page out of the data set. Get data page. And I want to get page one. And the page size is going to be five. And then we'll say for each page as package. So now we actually got a page. We only got the first five. And let's say I wanted to get this, the next five. I could change this to say two. So I'm gonna get page two, the page size is five. There we go, starting with 24 to 28. So if I say I want page three, we should be uh, starting with uh, record number 29 when I refresh this. There it is, 29, So we've got pagination. Up until this point, we've just been grabbing stuff out of the model and then we have been um, looping through it manually and echoing it out. I'm gonna show you another little cool thing and this is what you're gonna see a lot inside the generated code. I'm gonna delete that loop. Freeze has the capability built in where the controller, it understands what these data set objects are. And I'm gonna say this, render, JSON packages. Hit the save. Refresh our page. Nice, check that out. We essentially have an API, you know, there we just created. Uh, we did some criteria, we filtered out some records. Render JSON, done. There's your REST API. I'm gonna stop there for explaining the freeze model functionality. And I'm going to do one more video for this introductory series. I want to talk about reporters, and that's where you're going to need to get into do join statements, aggregate queries, and that kind of stuff. And I'm going to show you some techniques for doing that in the last video. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for sticking around this far through, and I will see you next time.